and, and Indiana, and possibly in Georgia as well. Well, I, 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 I don't want to misrepresent myself as an expert, but there is more to gay sex than cake and flowers. Uh, <laughs> these people are not being asked to engage in gay sex or even endorse gay sex. They're being asked to sell flowers and cake to people. And that is hypothetical. Now, I'm a libertarian and an atheist, so I'm kind of fighting myself on this. I don't like the government involved in telling people mm -hmm. what to do. And I certainly want people to have religious freedom, because the only way people who don't have religion are going to have freedom is if people who do have religion have freedom. But all the same, we have to make sure we don't get too crazy in the hypotheticals. We are not talking about forcing people to engage in gay sex or even endorse gay sex. We're asking them that maybe they can treat people the same as other people, and that does not seem unreasonable. It's okay, I suppose, although goofy, to be against gays, but it's not okay to be against people that simply want to uh, uh, use your services as a business. I mean, the free market the should be able to take care of this faster than anything. Go ahead, Kristen. The only hypotheticals here are the hypotheticals that somehow there has been discrimination in any way outside of the free exercise and free expression context. We are, I suspect that if we were to ask journalists whether they need to be coerced into writing messages with which they have a disagreement, they would have a problem with that. In the same way we wouldn't Well, journalists artists. all the time. And make no mistake. Journalists well, all the time write things they disagree with. <laughs> we, we do it can all I the time. Say, can all I say we talk about things that we disagree no, with no, all we the don't. time. That's I'd like to say true. something every about American, as a matter of fact, right the now, live consistent with their as beliefs. you as you speak, like <laughs> CNN is allowing you to say things they don't agree with. As you speak, you are proving it to not be true. Well, I don't know they if CNN do doesn't agree with, with it. You're saying. Maybe some people who work here don't agree with it. This is just a forum so people can right. express their opinion. You know where what I'm, I'm saying is, I think discrimination. You're fine with that. That's my opinion, and I think that that. Uh, Every that client the who are we have. So right now, you're being allowed to do that. They're being disingenuous. Go ahead, Rita. I'd like Every to say something. Every client, yes, Every like client we have has served Hello. gay customers. Every I'd client. Like to say so excuse me. I'd like to say something about the, uh, the purpose of discrimination here. This bill in Arkansas was brought to us by the same duo who introduced the bill to prohibit the passage of non-discrimination laws in municipalities. So the city of Fayetteville, Arkansas, passed a law prohibiting discrimination based on sexual orientation or sexual identity. And because of that, this same team passed a state law saying cities cannot extend further rights to people than the state does. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think that's simply These laws un-American. Okay. Okay. Hey, I, I, quickly, 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 quickly I want to get to this. Years. I want you guys to listen to David Letterman, who is from Indiana, and this is what he said on the show last night. This is not the Indiana I remember as a kid. We all breathe the same air. We're all carbon-based life forms. And now this guy throws a wrench into the monkey works. <laughs> I'm sorry. This guy throws a monkey wrench into the works. Into the works. Uh, the Indianapolis mayor told me here on CNN two nights ago that this is a solution without a problem. So why, why do you think this is resonating on a national level, Finn? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, it just seems like maybe it's a bunch of people who realize they've lost a battle that's very important to them. And that is to say anyone under 30 is okay with gay rights. The whole thing is, uh, is, is ancient history. All we need is a little bit of time, and this will simply be a joke. Yeah. And sometimes when people are feeling that their point of view is being lost and they're becoming an anachronism, when they clutch and what they used to believe, it sometimes is not very I have to, I have to tell you, as a, as a person of color who happens to be gay and who has studied a lot about this, those same arguments, the same Bible verses, the same things people say word about Jesus that were used true. against that is not black true. people and interracial marriage. That's true. And here it is. Word for word. Word for word. That's absolutely true. Thank 